Hello lovelies, I'm Conchetta Antico and welcome to my world, a unique place where you'll discover your own personal creativity. The Conchetta channel is your destination to add a little more colour to your world. So let's get inspired. My name is Kimberly Jamison. I'm a cognitive scientist. I work at UC Irvine. And I have been studying Conchetta Antigo's color perception for about two years now. I am the world's only tetrachromat artist. What that means is that I have been given a gift at birth of a fourth color receptor in my eyes. I'm able to resolve up to 99 million more colors than the average vision that can see up to a million. Because of that, I obviously have expansion of color. Uh, not to say artists don't have amazing color, they do, but I'm actually scientifically proven to see more color than the average vision. As a cognitive scientist who studies color perception, we don't often get the opportunity to look at color perception in an applied setting. So notice the painted oval. This is the scene depicted by Conchetta Antico using her artistic expression of color to reflect what she's experiencing of this green canyon. And what you'll notice is that the colors on the canvas may appear quite a bit brighter, quite a bit more colorful than what you see in the background. There's a greater number of oranges, there's hints of peach, lavender, gold. The implication is that her artwork is reflecting for the trichromat audience subtle differences that she detects in a scene like this Green Canyon and presenting them on the canvas for everyone to appreciate. So the ability to study this biological basis and its interface with color perception and artistic creation is something that really has never been studied at this level of detail with scientific methods. So as a person who's interested in her craft, her technique and skill that she uses for her creation, her expertise that she's developed over the years, and its interface with her biological basis for color vision, it's a fantastic case study for human potential tetrachromacy, one that hasn't ever been encountered in uh, the study of tetrachromacy throughout uh, any of our modern uh, scientific uh, investigations. So for that reason, I'm really, really interested in uh, looking at her creative process, her products that she produce, as well as uh, interfacing that with what we know about her underlying perception. So fantastic artwork, fantastic research opportunity. 